Hey friends, it's Mary and welcome back to my channel, Ancestral Beginnings. So today I am wanting to show you a uh, yard sale haul um, and one or two antique um, stores that my sister and I went to. So we went to a nearby um, community-wide garage sale. Uh, yard sale uh, thing. Uh, oh, not this past weekend, which was Mother's Day weekend, but the weekend before that. So it's been over a week now uh, since we went, and uh, I'm just I'm just getting around to filming this video. So I wanted to show you what I got. Um, got some really cool items that I want to show you but um, so let's just get started uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was um, just some craft supplies I went to one uh, sale and that's that's all that they had I've got it still in the bag here so you're gonna hear some rustling but um, got this um, garland this silver garland and it's you know again it's that small stuff that you can really um you know do some crafting with which will be very very nice so got that got some more um and again this stuff is not really old i don't th think um got some of this very um, vintage like or looking um, kind of tinsel garland and it's um, kind of like it's tarnished so I got two three I think I just got three of these so again nice for crafting nice for assemblages Got some Christmas bulbs. They're on picks. So nice for wreath making. Got this bag and this bag. So. Got these two wooden uh, candlestick holders. I think I think I paid 50 cents a piece for these. I think I paid I think everything here I paid 50 cents a piece. Again some wooden wax that I can use um, or whatever. And then I thought these were really cool. I should have opened them. Again, they're they're not old, but they're old and vintage looking. They're keys. And you've probably seen these. They they probably sold them in um, Hobby Lobby. So with the vintage. Um, looking keys in them and I got one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Not quite sure what I paid for those. Maybe as much as a dollar. Okay, so that's it for the craft supplies. Put these put back in the bag. brick at a one place just some cotton type muslin type um, fabric you know it's a good bit so I got this that'll come in handy for journal making or whatever 
And then I came across um, five of these books. So the first one's Queen Elizabeth the first, Queen Victoria, Mary Queen of Scots, King Henry the Eighth, and then the six wives of Henry the Eighth. And you know, I I looked at these and I opened them up and you know. They have all these cool photographs in them, you know, and I just, um, you know, kind of fell in love with all the, the pictures and, um, so they were only 25 cents a piece and I couldn't, I couldn't resist. So not sure what I'm going to do with them, you know, I could copy the pictures and put them in journals or I don't know but I thought they were really cool and who knows I might pass them along eventually but just you know really cool photos I, lo I love these photos so those and then I picked up one of these so guess what, you know, what can I do with this? Display my, my vintage and antique postcards, um, greeting cards, my vintage greeting cards when I get them. So this was $2. So I thought that was good. And then we came to a place and there was, you know those, um, those bags uh, plastic zippered bags that you buy comforters and bedspreads in. Well, there was a big bag full of all kinds of stuff. And I saw it and I saw some fabric in it that I really loved. I knew it was vintage. Um, didn't know if it was a tablecloth or what. And there was other stuff in it. I can't remember if the guy, I think the guy didn't have any, any price on it. So I asked him how much he wanted for it and he said $5 and I thought, oh gosh, $5, I don't know if I want to spend that much. Um, you know, I was only seeing those couple um, pieces of fabric and I wasn't sure of what else, you know, was in there. And I said, would you take three? And he said, yes. So um, as soon as I brought it home, I took it over to the garbage can and threw out the stuff that I didn't want um, or, you know, that I thought was really trash. <laughs> um, but I did get some nice things in it. Um, I got this vintage oval um, embroidery hoop. I thought that was really cool. You, you usually don't see them. Metal um, and uh, an oval, so I thought that was cool. Got that. And then this lady, the person, she did um, needlework. So there's this that was started. That's really, really pretty. And then there's another one. Put that down there. Let's see. Not quite sure which, you know, direction it's supposed to go, but, but this is very pretty too. I can incorporate this, these in an, um, a journal. Um, you know, a cover of a journal or something like that. Um, so I will definitely be able to make use of this. This one's kind of big, so we'll have to see. But, and then there was, um, well here I'll pick out the two things that caught my eye. So this is, um, 
a tablecloth, I think. I think it's like a card table. No, 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 I take that back. This is a runner. This is a runner. But isn't that beautiful? Now, unfortunately, on the one end, the one side of it, so this side, see that? There's paint. There's paint on it. So this that portion of it is ruined. But this other side is good. So I can use it. It. So I was really tickled to get that. And then this is the other piece of fabric. Um, and I think maybe this is the one that's more like a card table size. I'm not sure. Um, no, it's probably not. Or a small table. But anyhow, it's like a linen. It's beautiful. Um, so I got that cotton and then let's see this is like some heat bond that was in there I haven't worked a lot with this but you can make like appliques um, patches and things like that with this and then there was this in there. I have no idea. It's like, it's almost like a cheesecloth, but a little bit different. So I'm really not sure what this is used for, but I didn't want to throw it away. Piece of plastic canvas. And then this is sort of, this is, this is a lot of fabric and it's a heavy duty fabric. This is great. This is, um, it's almost like a duck cloth. Um, it is kind of a cream color, but this is nice and heavy duty. Again, making um, journal covers with this would be great um nice nice weight and there's there's a lot of it a lot of it got that and then this this is i honestly don't know there's a lot of yardage here i don't know it's almost like a plastic it's almost like shower curtain material or material that you might use for uh, making curtains possibly but it sort of has like a plasticky feel to it so um but this is nice you know even if it's just to cover my workspace so um and then the other thing that was in there that i kept was this little american tour american tourister little alarm clock like a travel alarm clock. So I thought that was neat. Okay. All right, so the very, um, actually the next uh, garage sale was actually the very first garage sale that I went to. Um, I was meeting up with my sister Kelly um, and she hadn't gotten there yet and I was early so I, I decided I was gonna go into a garage sale without her you know while I was waiting so it was the best one it was a very small garage and there was this very old man, this very old gentleman, um, sitting on the steps inside the garage. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing um, some a couple, few really cool things. So let me show you what he had. He had this flamingo. 
two dollars on this of course I have no idea who makes it um, but there's no chips no cracks no paint loss nothing on it two dollars so I grabbed that up and right next to it was this guy this flamingo planter it's a planter um, on the bottom, it just says 402. And this one was $3. Again, I would say really no flaws, no chips, no cracks, nothing. Still a little dirty. I haven't, I haven't washed it. And I'm, you know, I'm not... I'm not a flamingo person, um, and I'm not real big on things like this. Um, but for the price, I couldn't, I couldn't leave it there. <laughs> um, so I grabbed them both. And then the next thing I saw, here it is, Miss Dainty, Miss Dainty. And I think I took the price tag off of her. She was only $5. And she's in really, really good condition, what I consider good condition. You look at her close up and on her, um, on her hat, there's really no chips or anything. There's just some crazing, what I'm going to call crazing, which is the cracking that is just through the glaze. And they're, it's not the crazing type. It, they're like long, long cracks, kind of circular cracks. And then she's got the same on her face, not as severe as the lid but a little bit on her face. And to be honest with you, I can't see them right now. So, I mean, I, I just, I could not believe I found her. So, I was so tickled. And then the last thing, then I'm, you know, so I'm kind of, you know, fumbling with trying, and this was a really small, garage so everything was really packed in there so there was no place to put these down except uh, except leave it leave them where they were while I'm trying to get my money out and all of that and then I'm seeing oh, I forgot what they're called I forgot what it's called it's Fenton milk glass Um, I, I, long story short, <laughs> I, I'm, you know, dealing with these three things and I see the other thing and then there's other people coming in and like, please don't take it. I'm saying, please don't take it. Please don't take it. You know, I was finally able to grab this third, uh, item or fourth item and it was something I wanted to get for my sister. Okay, so that's really all I got from the garage sales. Um, but then we decided to go ahead and go to um, one antique shop. And then the other shop <clears throat> is a store there in town. It had some antiques, but then it also had other things that they that they sold so I'll show you what I got there so the first place I went to was um, just enough antiques and the town we went to was Smithville Ohio they were having their community-wide garage sales that weekend so the two things I got was this old antique bottle and it is 
says on it, Dr. Ellis, quick dry waving fluid. It says Dr. Ellis Sales Company, Inc. Distributors, Pittsburgh, PA. Um, and then on the bottom, it just says made in USA. And then on the back side, uh, Dr. Ellis um, wave set. So this must have been, you know, the stuff that women put on their hair. I'm guessing back in the 20s, you know, when they had that wavy hairstyle, you know, I'm wondering if that's what this is. So, um, I just thought it was so cool. I love, I love all the, um, you know, the markings on it and the writing on it. Really, really cool. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. Yeah. And the red lid. Really cool. So I got that. I paid $6 for it. Of course, it's an antique store, so you're going to pay up. And then... I love quilts, not so much to display them or to use them, but to cut them up <laughs> and uh, craft with them. So I got a um, kind of a cutter quilt, so it's the quilt top. Got the quilt top. And Daphne, Daphne's really good to me. Um, I was able to get this for $20, so, and it's pretty big, so. So, those are the two things that I got at Just Enough Antiques, and then, let's see, the last thing, I went to the other store, I can't remember the name of the store, um, oh, it's called Sayers Marketplace. And um, went in there, and for 10 cents, it was only 10 cents, I bought this jar. I just thought it was really cool that it had the stars on um, the top there, and I thought it would be nice to use for 4th of July, Memorial Day. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put inside. We'll see. Maybe some red, white, and blue spools of thread, small spools of thread, something like that. I think that would be cool. And then the last thing I got um, was this stack of work basket magazines. And this one on the top is from 1968. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I got 11. I paid up for these. I paid $13 for these. Um, but I, I really like them. I like the crafts. I like the, um, the photos in them. So, and I won't bore you with going through all of them, but that's it guys. Um, I think that's all I have to show you today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, please, if you like the content, um, I try to do a, or I'm pretty cons consistent with doing a video, having a video every Tuesday. Um, and then sometimes I try to put in another video uh, some other time during the week. So if you like uh, thrifting, um, shop-alongs, um, estate sales, uh, and antique and flea market um, hauls, um, and then also I try and do um, vintage-inspired crafting. So um, please ex uh, subscribe to my uh, channel and um, give me a like, give me a comment, and I uh, hope to see you next time in the next video. 
Bye, guys.